Welcome back to the Green Workbench. Today we have these old closet doors that we got from a friend who was moving. I think they actually had them and with the intentions of doing a project and never did. Uh, but anyway, we've got two sets of them, so I'm going to put them together to make a privacy screen. First thing first, it was painted this horrible white and green mess so that's got to be repainted and I'm going to use chalkboard paint um, so that the screen can be used as a chalkboard as well it's going to go in one of the kids rooms so that will work really well so first step is to clean it up um, make sure there's no drips or anything else in the previous paint color, wash it down nice uh, to prep it for painting and then we need to remove all the hardware get that taken off and get it ready for the new paint job Okay, so everything is cleaned off. Now, this is one pointer that goes with any repurposing DIY project. Um, when you're using old stuff to repurpose it into something new or different, um, it's never going to be in perfect condition. So, you can spend, you can either design around that fact, or if you want it in perfect condition, you can spend the extra time and effort um, for this project I would have had to sand this down completely and really it probably would have taken the same amount of time to build brand new screens um, than to do that so I just took out the little bump strips in the paint and cleaned it off wiped it down so I'm going to try using a paint sprayer with my air compressor instead of brushing it we're going to see how that works with this paint. Hopefully it works well. That would make life a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and spray the first coat of chalkboard paint. This is Three coats sprayed on, um, with the third coat was pretty heavy, I went over it a couple of times, so almost four coats. Worked really well, looks good, it's nice and smooth, um, it was so much easier to do these Venetian slats um, with a sprayer, it would have taken forever to do it with a brush. So I'm going to let this side dry, and then I'll flip it over and paint the other side. So it's time to get the paint off of the old hinges. So I'm using some paint remover. Wire brush. And a chisel. And we'll get this paint remover on here. And have to remember to oil down the hinges once I get them stripped. Now on this old paint, I'm not sure if it was an oil base or a water based paint. But this stripper should work for both. So we'll let that sit for a few minutes. Get some rubber gloves on. And get to stripping.
All right, we're all painted and the hinges are cleaned and oiled, so I am going to start screwing them back on. Go through each one. Um, put the two panels back together and then I have some special hinges to put the two together to make one screen. So I have the two pieces together and I got these hinges online. They're double action hinges. They're specifically designed for SOGI screens, privacy screens, because they actually open both ways so that you can um, open your screen in both directions. So I'm attaching those now. I'm going to pre drill. And I'll attach it to the other side and we'll have our screen. So here's the screen finished. It's going to look great in her bedroom. She'll be able to write on it with chalk since I use chalk paint. She can decorate it, mark it up, write notes, use add color to it match her personality and her bedroom. We're going to try normal chalk and also chalk markers like you see at restaurants that they use to write the menu on. See how those work. I'll take some pictures of those. And if you like this, please check out my other videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my website at thegreenworkbench.com for projects and other ideas. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.